Annyeong! Welcome to Delightful! For whatever reason this morning, I woke up and thought to myself, I need a galaxy pony in my life. So that's what we're gonna do. It's probably because I've been watching Neil deGrasse Tyson's Cosmos on Netflix. To start, I'm going to use this Applejack here. She was actually a freebie that was packed together with the Huju dolls I recently received. As you can tell, she's seen better days. I'm not going to bother removing her factory paint this time because black acrylic covers everything. Poor Applejack looks like she got into an oil spill. Oh, that's so sad. She's almost opaque after just one coat, but let's give her a second for good measure. Once that's dry, it's time for the fun part. This technique is super easy, anyone can do it, and it always turns out looking super cool. So if you'd like a quick, easy project, paint some galaxies! After squeezing out some colors onto my palette, I'm going to take a little paper towel bit and use it to apply the paint. Basically, I'm sponging on the color. You can do any colors you want, because we've all seen how colorful space can be thanks to the Hubble photographs and such. If you're not sure what colors to choose or how to arrange them, looking at said photographs can be a big help. I've been doing a lot of big complicated projects lately, which are fun, no doubt, but sometimes we just need to give ourselves an easy little project to relax, you know? Looking good. Guess what's next? The stars. Grab yourself a shop toothbrush, not one you actually brush your teeth with, and mix up a soupy white acrylic blob. You want a consistency of thick sauce, like hot sauce or something. Enough pigment to spray well, but watery enough to pick it up with a toothbrush. Test out your mixture on a scrap piece of paper first until it's perfect. Now flick the toothbrush and voila! Stars everywhere! Now I know it's really fun to flick the toothbrush, but a little goes a long way, so don't overdo it. Once those are dry, I'm going to take a tiny detail brush and pick out a few of the stars, giving them a tiny cross shape. Next, I'm going to block in her eyes and give her white hooves too. Sticking with my limited color palette, I'm giving her pink eyes that look a little spooky. Space is mysterious after all. I then decided that this pony needed to become a unicorn. So to add the horn, I'm poking a hole with a thumbtack, stobbing in a little armature wire, and then go straight in with the paint. If this were a bigger project, I would use clay first, but because it's so small, the paint itself can actually be my sculpting medium. There she is! To seal in all the galaxy goodness, I'm going to use Duraclear Matte Varnish mixed with two-thirds water. I give my toys two to three durable coats because I drop them all the time. For her eyes, I'm using Locatex High Gloss Varnish to add a little shine. She still doesn't feel complete, so for some final touches, I'm busting out the glitter. I've got a couple materials to consider here, but I think I'm gonna go with the rhinestones. I have a couple in the correct colors, so I'm going to glue them on with Elmer's Glue All. Eee, so shiny! Here's the finished galaxy pony! She was really fun to make, and I think the rhinestones were a cute touch too. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments, and if you make your own galaxy animals, I'd love to see them! 
You can always feel free to tag me on Instagram at delightfully. Yeah, delightful was taken. Remember to always have fun with your artwork, and I'll see you in my next video. Stay artsy! Annyeong!